So in this video, we are doing a continuation from where we had left off from last time. We are going to be trading the funded space until we have reached our goal. So without further delaying your time, let's get in the video. I'm going in, bitch. I'm going in. I don't give a fuck. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm tired of fucking losing, dude. I'm tired of losing. I'm tired of being a bitch. I'm tired of being a sorry, sad ass mother. So today I'm going to be trading something which I haven't traded before. I'm just going to be trading something new. Um, let's try what is a good pair here. I'm going to be trading something very different, which we had never done before. Maybe, just maybe, we can avoid some losses today. Maybe we can avoid blowing our accounts. Just maybe, just a thought. Just a thought. So let's see. Let's try Litecoin versus US dollar. I've never traded it before. Um, I think, I think, um, this this money this money would be more exciting be more exciting to eat be more exciting you know there's just some pairs which are very exciting which are, are, are you know there's this excitement when you're eating that certain type of money it just brings um a certain joy because you know it's not something that you do every day i don't know if you can understand what i'm saying Okay, let me just explain a bit here. So this is an uptrend, right? And it's going down. So to the left there is supply and demand zones. So which means I think when price goes to that area, it has to bounce going up, all right? Because we have two sides there. So which means when it broke going up, when it comes back down, it has to retest because that area, it has never um, retested before. So I, it, it is too strong. It is too strong for that. It is too strong for that. This is why I hate some brokers. Where you put a buy, look where it throws the price. It throws it very far. So it's actually little to impossible for you to make profit because you are already in a huge loss. That is the very annoying thing. I hate these current brokers. This is why I love Deriv because there is no such nonsense like this. We don't meet with this nonsense. If you have used Deriv, you will see what I'm talking about. Trading the volatility. There is no nonsense such as this. All right. There is none. So let's um trade another pair. Let's trade another pair. All right. Let's trade another pair. Let's put another pair. It's silver versus US dollar. Versus US dollar. The US dollar. The USD. Let's try that. The USD. All right. The no stop loss, Baba. So here I will draw the trend lines. So um, I've seen a lot of patterns such as this one. I've seen a lot. And I know that this is a buy. This is a buy, my friends. When you see something like this, it's a buy. All right. To the moon. You see where I have put my shadows on there? where there is um, an area of resistance. Price usually goes to that area to back test there. So this is a buy. Alright. A buy. Alright. So the now um the next thing to do is to put your positions so that you will get your money. It's a method of collecting your money of course. So we put a wide open dish so that we can receive our big profits all right or if you don't have a dish you can just use your hands all right you can just use your hands anyway but if you don't have your hands then um i suggest you get something that you you have to take the money with because we have to take the money here i need a dollar you also need a dollar right one plus one we know the answer it's not two by the way I know most of you think two. It's not true. If you know the answer, just drop it in the comment section. But it's not true. It's not true. All right. 
Um, so why we wait our buy here? Why wait our buy here? Let's see, let's see. Hmm. What do you usually do? So when you enter your trade here, like what do you do? Do you do you look at it the whole day or do you like log out, go for a walk? What do you do? Do you mind? Don't mind me asking. What do you do? I want to know what do you do? Because as for me, when I enter a trade like this, most of the time, um, I get out of this trading thing. I start doing something else. Maybe I can just go on Insta and start watching some reels. I mean, who doesn't love reels? I love reels, you know. I start watching some reels or maybe go on TikTok. If not, then I think there will be something. But uh, waiting is a virtue. I usually wait. I don't wait on MT5. I don't wait. I just dish out a lot of positions. So anyway, what do you do before you blow your account? By the way, you put your positions. Um, do you like go somewhere and then come back? You open the MT5 and then you see you have vivid reds. They can be blue, right? They can be blue. Otherwise, if they are blue, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> vivid reds. Okay, I'm just joking. All right, I'm joking with you. Um, It seems like I've waited until forever. Waited until forever. All right. We've been waiting for... For what again? All right. We'll just be waiting. All right. We'll be waiting. We'll be waiting. Yes, some music silver yes this is a volatile pain this is a volatile pain all right so anyway do hit that subscribe button do it so that subscribe so that you don't miss out on the funded space and i genuinely hope that you are part of the funded space so that you can also receive the giveaway as we are going um fast with the results we are going we are going and we are not stopping. So yeah, I hope you are also part of the funded space. But if you are not, then that's okay. I'm sure another opportunity will just arise. So there is no pressure on that. All right. There's no pressure. Just watch the video and enjoy. Looks like the trade um, is giving me a bit of, um, what do you say? An attitude. It's giving me an attitude. Because it can reverse the moment I start buying, then it starts reversing just like that. This is an attitude, you know. Do you know who else has an attitude? Yes, you do. I want to talk about them. Them, I want to talk about them. <laughs> Let's just focus on on trading, yeah? Two thousand years later. After after a lot of while uh, let's say a lot because there had to be a lot of waiting so it seems that um one trade here has gone wrong one trade has gone wrong so the point where i said it was going to bounce it didn't it respected the trend line because you can see that it broke down and came back with the retest so it went back up to the first tp on its way to the second tp it did not respect the market structure which i was talking about in fact it did but not in the way which i was talking about so it broke yes but when it came back down um it came back up that is where it acted as a resistance all right so let's see another here so as we can see it did went up just as we have talked about it went up it went down and then it went up but um I did not go for margin here yeah, so i had plenty of margin to hold by so let's just close this position because there's no need to wait a win is a win right a win is a win so see you on the next video on the funded space today we stop here